Hi everybody, I'm Fanny. And I'm Yen Ling. Welcome to Freelance Creative Exchange, where every episode we talk about freelancing and the gig economy. And we have a very special guest with us today, Beatrice. <laughs> so Beatrice is a, a veteran actress who has acted in countless um, stage productions as well as uh, short films and uh, even I think you recently also featured in um, oh I have a playing role in the Crazy Rich Asians as well right mm, yeah very uh, minor role only <laughs> but still <laughs> yeah it's a Hollywood production <laughs> so after Beatrice's retirement from nursing uh, she used to be a nurse, so she decided to pursue her passion and started acting on a freelance basis. Um, in fact, I was retired from my nursing profession. Um, then since I was retired, so I have amplest time for myself. So I, since I'm free, myself, I go all into it, mm. into acting. Because since young, I have the passion in acting. Okay, so because um, acting is a kind of a new career that you mm-hmm. took up after retirement, mm. how easy was it for you to establish a presence and to get your clients? Uh, when I was uh, when I first started, um, I do quite a lot of student films. Mm. Yeah, so I was quite lucky that those students. After they have uh, graduated, then they become their own boss and some they work for uh, agencies, mm. company. So they remembered me. Mm. Repeat so customers. They call me. <laughs> yeah. Repeat customers. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yeah. And in fact, uh, I get introduction from them. Um. Yeah. So sometimes I don't even know where they got my, f- my contact from. Yeah. <laughs> Where you got my contact from? I said, oh, so and so. I said, huh, who is that? <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, when I see that person, I said, oh, you are. Uh, yeah, Auntie Beatrice. <laughs> when I was a student, I you work with me. You work for me, you know. So I said, huh, okay. So, so this is how I got my job. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, but I heard that you know um, you were, you were featured in previous articles as well, and I had a couple of interviews or so. Apparently, since young, you were already you know very into the art scene, uh, into performing as well. So, what made you then go into nursing then? Um, the, I remember the time why I go into nursing is that. I need lodging. Uh, yeah. Lodging? Yeah. What, they because nursing, you have to stay in the hostel. Oh, uh, I see. So I, I should say that I'm quite a rebellious child oh. at that time. <laughs> so I want independent. Uh. Yeah, I don't want anything that my mother uh, forced me to do or give me the direction. I see. Yeah. I will look for my own direction. <laughs> so I will, okay, I stay up, stay away from home. Oh. Mm. So there's a place that I can lodge, you know? Yeah, I can stay there. So nobody, no doubt, yes, of course, hostel, there's rulings and everything. Yeah. Yeah, but not the, no, the mother and daughter's uh, yeah. nagging, you see? Yeah. So I'm a very bad child. <laughs> <laughs> so now then, would you um, encourage your own uh, children or your grandchildren to go into acting as well? Um, I don't really encourage them. Why not? I encourage them to study hard first, then I let them have their own choice. Mm-hmm. How about freelancing yeah. as a career? Because um, mm-hmm. I mean, you, you previously held a full-time job for 40 years mm-hmm. in nursing yeah. and then now you are a freelance actor. Mm-hmm. Would you encourage young people to take up freelancing? Is it something you um, think that... No. <laughs> in fact, I always tell the youngsters, have a permanent job first mm. yeah, to stabilise your, uh, your income because your family mm. needs it. That's true. Isn't it? Yeah. You don't eat, your family have to eat. Mm. Yeah. So, as long as you your your income, your everything is stabilized, your lifestyle is good, then maybe you go for part-time mm. freelancing. Mm. But of course, 
at my age, uh, I have a uh, uh, I have every right to do that. Yeah. <laughs> you see, yeah, because I like freedom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. more freedom in freelancing. Mm, that's yeah. true. Yeah, you don't really have to think about it anymore. Your children true. are independent. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's right. They don't need me, poor thing. <laughs> <laughs> How do your how do your family think about what do your family think about it though? Like you acting and going out and like do they see you on the screens and like oh my god that's my mom uh, that's my grandma? No lah, they are not so exciting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, in fact, especially my girls, mm. they really encourage me. Mm. Yeah. yeah, because I mean, with a retired person. Staying at home, doing nothing, looking at the four walls, I think they will be wor- more worried. That's true. Yeah. Mm. So they don't mind. But of course, at times they will tell me, Mother, don't work so hard. Huh? Because sometimes I really go every day to work. Uh. Then, don't work so hard. Huh? Take care of yourself. Huh? I say, oh, okay. Lah. So now they become my mother. <laughs> <laughs> The concerned children, uh, it's time for them to take up the role. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So actually, Beatrice is a very, um, uh, one of the more familiar faces that we have because of your age demographic. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of seniors, um, you know, freelancers. No, there's a there. lot. A lot of freelance um, uh, senior, uh, those elderly freelancers. Yeah. So, yeah. but, in you know, because of, of the demographic, how are the jobs coming in? Um, are there a lot of demand um, on a regular basis? Um, I should say that uh, for me, it's quite regular at okay. times. Okay. Yeah, but uh, it depends on uh, the writer. Mm. If they don't write on uh, elderly, so I I I I will die <laughs> 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 without work, without anything. Yeah, no activities. <laughs> Say, yeah. I'm sure there's always a role somewhere. Yeah. Like uh, hopefully, but nowadays a lot of the writers, a lot of those youngsters, mm. they will write stories about youngsters. They Their never own think, stories. Yeah, they have no feeling for elderly. Mm. Uh, they never thought that oh, write something about the elderly is very rare. Yeah. Do you? Do you choose any of the films? Like when someone asks you, I have this short film, um, do you read through the script first and then choose? Or is it more of, um, yeah, I just want to get out of the house. I want to do something, something that um, I like. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no. Sometimes I do ask for the script first. Mm. Yeah. In what cases then? Uh, like some student films. Okay. Yeah. Because... Sometimes you really get sick of every every now and then, an old mother nagging. <laughs> or, uh, yeah. The so, typical roles. Yeah, <laughs> typical roles every day or so. Huh? Mother or <laughs> mother, like that, you know. So, of course, I would like to pick some, you know, some uh, extraordinary role. Yeah. Yeah. So that at least you, you can, you, you have the... the the urge of uh, being a different person. Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's also the whole point of acting to be yes. a different person. Exactly. And, uh, yeah. That's why sometimes I really admire acting. Mm. I like it because I can be somebody that I cannot be in my own life. Mm. Mm. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> How yeah. about your rates and your fees? Because as a mm. freelancer, you are kind of like your own boss. Uh, so do you have a standard rate that you follow very strictly to or you actually... More or less. Okay. Yeah. Because we cannot spoil the market. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> you cannot say, oh, um, I do for you free or I do for you at a very low rate. Mm. Then how about other people? Mm. Because in this industry... Um, a lot of people also, mm. a lot of actors and senior as well, mm. you know. But sometimes I do, um, I do spoil it. <laughs> 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 yeah, especially uh, for those students, mm. they will come to you and say, Auntie Patricia, we are not working, you know, we are students, mm. we don't have income, can you don't charge us? Oh. I say, okay, I don't charge you, but 
pay for my transport. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I can't afford to just even transport. Also, I have to pay for my own transport. Yeah. And, uh, you know, yes. it's unfair, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. So I say, okay, I don't, don't charge you for acting fees. Pay for my transport. Yeah. That Very is nice. only for students. Eh? <laughs> only <laughs> students. Yeah. Yeah. Only students. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, like those production house, yeah. agencies, mm. you, you cannot say, oh, I because you are my good friend, I yeah. don't charge yeah. you. Yeah, that's yeah. right. I mean, uh, usually if like friends, very good friends, I tell them, okay, just pay, pay me um, under your budget. You just tell me what is your budget. Yeah. Yeah. If you can afford, because some are very new company. Yeah. Mm, so you don't expect them to really, you yeah, know, that huge <laughs> pay, budget. Yeah, pay yeah. Hollywood price <laughs> <laughs> or HBO price. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what has been your favorite role to date? Um, favorite roles. Mm. I don't really have any favorite roles, but. I like to challenge myself with any type of roles. Anything yeah. that's different, like you mentioned. Yes. Is it? Yeah. Uh, not so monotonous. Mm. Mm. And then so I, I don't mind to be a, a pros, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, a murderer. Yeah. That'd be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah. Because I never killed a person before. <laughs> so I have a chance to kill. Okay, why not? <laughs> hint hint to all the writers out there <laughs> <laughs> And you started Glower's Drama Group in mm. 2003 mm, yeah. um, How did it came, come about? Actually um, It started We have a group of core members mm. Then uh, Eight of us only So at that time Drama Plus yeah, Drama Plus They intend to start a, a group Mm. For the elderly, mm. Mm. Uh, then because they want to get the go fund, mm. that time they call it go fund. You see, yeah. so okay, since they enroll, so we join in. Mm. So our group uh, of us eight of us, we joined in, and uh, that time is not called glowers. Mm. That is a uh, sage stage. Yeah. Mm. So do you see more seniors joining the acting? Um, career as well. Uh, yes, yeah. In but fact, I see nowadays there's a lot of elderly group, mm. elderly drama group. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I heard of one or two. Especially women. Mm. Mm. I don't show where um where are all the men. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they prefer to go karaoke. <laughs> the yeah. men. Yeah. Really. <laughs> ah, you when you see karaoke, wow, all the men are there. Ah. Is that's why mostly uh, our group are uh, really lack of men. Mm. Yeah, so far we have only four men, mm. four or wow, five men. Wow, really? Yeah, wow, four yeah. or five men out of forty members. One ten percent. That is very mm. very minimal. That's surprisingly mm. low. Yeah. Yeah. I thought more of them would be interested. But where do you see them coming from? Like uh most of them are so retirees or do you think some of them are you know oh i have reached a certain point in my career and they actively want to change a career uh most of them are retirees okay yeah because uh that's what i say after retired where to go to yeah must well pick up a hobby exactly mm. yeah but so it, it's just a pity like this i don't know we are looking for men you know <laughs> yeah we are hunting for men, please. I think maybe because of the the, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Maybe because the men in that age are a bit more shy. Yeah, maybe. Reserved. Apart from the whole challenges, all the challenges with setting up glowers and finding a home mm. and everything, do you think as a freelance actress or as a professional, are there any other challenges that you face out there? Challenges is that. Mm, you don't have job <laughs> because there's so many people around. What mm. you see? Yeah, yeah. That's right. Like, is there anything yeah. you do to try to make your own profile stand out a little bit? Like you know, on your Facebook page, social media. Uh, I don't purposely do that. Okay. Yeah, 
because I always believe that what is yours is yours. Mm. Yeah, what is not yours, you cannot say just go right a path and you know. Mm. And of course, the thing is that you have to bring up your best, mm. try your best. Yeah, if you just ah, oh, never mind. I'm just playing a fool. Mm. Yeah, people will play a fool with you. Yeah, isn't it? Mm. You really, if you get a role. Yeah. Yeah. So you will be putting yourself into the character and make it real. So when people say, ah, hey, she's okay, you know. Yeah. Uh, at least um, natural. Yeah. Um, she really portray well. So okay, people will call you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It is still after all the performance yes. that has to speak for itself. Yeah. So. So would you um, recommend though uh, younger people going into acting? Since you yourself came in only after you retired, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But would you recommend people younger? Uh, I do recommend them not only into acting. If they really like it, have a proper agent or go to a proper place and furthermore go for further i do encourage young yeah uh, young actors uh, actress uh, since you can act now go for further go overseas further to mm. get you no know, at least to get a title for yourself yeah because so many actors and actresses around would you yourself go Hmm. Further or I, go overseas or pursue I it? wish to, but I'm already I'm already seventy eight, you know. <laughs> yeah, I can't even run. <laughs> so you expect me to go overseas for all these things? I think I'm too old for that. Yeah. You're just okay over here in Singapore, content mm, with it. I'm quite satisfied myself, uh, You know. Do you think is, you know, anyone will be ever too old to pursue their passion? No, not really. If I can start at 62, mm. then 62. Mm. I, I, I don't see, yeah, I don't see anything unless you are really, maybe you really cannot move, you are so demented that you can't remember a word, a line of the script, then can't help it. Mm. If not, if you have the ability, you, you still can. Even though you are 100 years old, if you can live until that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, think yeah. you still can, you see. Mm. Yeah. But actually for me, from young, uh, since from young, mm. I got my passion. Mm. So that's why I want to go all out for it. Mm. Yeah. How about protection? I mean, in, in all various forms, like mm -hmm. um, financial protection or, you know, being on set with so many other different people, mm -hmm. the all kinds of protection that you have to do as a freelance actress, what are some of the challenges that you've met? Actually... That you can share with the, some of the I, younger actors? I think I'm very lucky. I'm always being protected by all the crews. Okay. Yeah. The directors, the crews, they all say, uh, like just now, uh, and they be careful of the wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they even bring chairs and say, you sit down, you sit down. Uh, you don't stand for so long, not your turn yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm very lucky that I'm well protected, mm. but I don't show the youngsters. Like, you know. okay. But sometimes I can say that if you are young, you just try to be more friendly, don't be so argumentative. Mm. Yeah. Because there's a lot to learn. Nobody really knows everything like in drama, mm. in acting. Yeah. I can't say that, oh, I'm a very good actor. Uh, I know everything about acting already. Sorry, I can't say that. Because I'm still learning. Yeah. I still find myself uh, more than an infant, so I'm a baby. Mm. Yeah. Because there's a lot in, in drama, in acting, a lot of things to learn. Yeah. If you think that, oh, I've done this before, I know what to do. But maybe it is something that, you no, know, 
it twisted, it will be more, it will be better if it's mm. a slightly twisted. Then there's something, something you learn. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I, I'm very greedy. Yeah, I'm very greedy in learning. Yeah. So how do you improve yourself in that way then? Mm. Mm, I always go for play, go for shows. You go and watch other people. Yes. Basically. Yeah. And still <laughs> mm. <laughs> try my possibility of stealing from people. Mm. Yeah. If you find that, oh, mm, this action is good, this expression is good, yeah. keep it to myself. Yeah. If you find that anything that mm, the actor or actresses have done that is not really good, oh, you can, you can think back, maybe, oh, I have this experience also. So you just take away. Mm. It's minus and plus. So is there any... I'm quite curious, do you, before a shoot or before a performance, is there any thing that you go through, like a um, routine or tradition that you prepare yourself before you go and perform on screen? Of course screen you have to. There is? Yeah. yeah. You, you have to um, know your script well, mm -hmm. so to bring out your character. If you don't know the script, you then how are you going to portray this character? But do you oh, like um, yeah. practice in front of a mirror? Or uh, like that? No lah, <laughs> I don't practice in front of a mirror. But I uh, try to memorize it, and uh, anywhere also, I will just mumble and uh, think uh, how to do it. How to? That's why I can recollect that. Uh, one day I was on the bus. Mm. People think that I'm mad. Yeah, <laughs> because I have been. Actually, I was uh, remembering my mm. script. Yeah. So. Accidentally, I don't know how come I. I I really laugh, you know. When time to laugh, I say. <laughs> 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 hmm. Yeah. Uh, so the one who sits who sits next to me, thought that wow. Oh, this is a xiao zha bo. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> when Literally, she changed place, you know. <laughs> yeah, she looked at me, you know, she just changed place. So I observed that I laugh. La. <laughs> I really laugh. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't intend to chase her away. Yeah. yeah. But she just, oh, okay, la. you think that I'm xiao, I'm xiao. La. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I. Usually, I don't care what people think of me and uh, what people talk about me or um, react to me. Mm. I don't bother. But do you get recognized on the streets nowadays? Yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You're like, hey, come on, auntie, I yeah. saw you on TV that day. Oh, on a film. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And sometimes I can talk to foreigner. I mean, not for uh, uh, talk to strangers. Mm. That my grand my granddaughter always laugh at me. Even my daughters also. Whether you know her, <laughs> I don't know. Then you talk to her. I think people talk to you. What? So manners, what? Isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. have to return. Uh, you have to talk. And then, uh, talk, talk until we say we say like that. You know. I said, yeah, what to do? I said, I can't just ignore it. I don't know you, I walk away. <laughs> I mean, that is very rude. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why they, they always laugh at me. They, uh, they always say, Mama, I'm sure you don't know her. I said, yeah, you're right. I don't know who is she. <laughs> 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 this so is me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's exciting. Do you have any dream roles that you would like to have though? I know you've uh, now been in a Hollywood film, right? And you've also been in like HBO, work so with Terry uh, Koo. So, so many, you know, you know. <laughs> but see, you know, it's a Hollywood set. Was there any difference, yeah. by the way? Like in the being, Hollywood production? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Really? The way of filming is different. Mm. Could you, did it affect you as an actress in terms of, because you've been all the way from like a pro bono with a student film all the mm -hmm. way to that kind of set, mm -hmm. right? Does it affect the way that you work? No, I don't feel it. Yeah, because I think um, you have to adapt to different environment. Yeah. So, I mean, since they film it like that, so 
okay, adapt to that. What was the main difference? Huh? The main difference is that like uh, when in Singapore, mm. they do flaming is, say for instance, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you like yeah. that, you in a group. Yeah. So for them, when I flame uh, this uh, crazy rich, uh, Asian. Asian, that one. Yeah. You just face in front of a camera while I'm talking to another person. Ah, oh, there was no, there was no real setup. No, mm. you just face the camera, and you also will face the camera. But we have to treat it as I'm, I'm talking to you. You know, you are there. Yeah, yeah. So your expression, your facial expression, your everything. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to be there. Yeah. It really pulled on you. Yeah. Hmm. So you, you, you cannot say, oh, hey, I, I'm not talking to, to, to Fanny, you know. So how am I to portray? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the difference. Yeah. So you have to adapt to it. Mm. So okay, la, I take you as that. <laughs> yeah. That's hmm. interesting. So yeah. it was an additional challenge. Yeah. yeah. This is what I learned, you see. Hmm. So in fact, I learned something new. I, I never experienced that, so I said, ha. Ah. Ah. So, I said, yeah, look at the camera. And we will, f we will flame that. Ah. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Uh, no doubt, I'm uh, very rebellious, but um, I'm a very good person in listening to people's order. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, yeah. you know. I have to, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I cannot say, director, why you ask me to do that? That is not funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that. That's good. I have yeah. uh, one last question for mm -hmm. you. So, what advice would you give your younger self? My younger self. Uh, mm. Um. I really don't have any advice for my younger self. You know. Maybe if you want to know. Um, a bit of regret that I started this passion so late because I have not much time to to pursue. <laughs> yeah, and um, but I think that in another sense, um, I'm very lucky that. Um, I stick on to my nursing uh, for so many years and I got my pension. Mm. So now I'm a free and easy person. Yeah. And it's all about passion and yeah. what you like. Yeah. That's why uh, that's why I can uh sweep uh, uh swap over from nursing to my this and of course, I can tell you there's another reason why I swap over, why I don't carry on uh, even after my retirement in nursing. Mm. Yeah. After I got my pension in nursing, I, I went for operation. Okay. Yeah, I went for operation of my leg. Oh. Yeah. And you know, like, after operation, I still have the pain for quite some time. Yeah. Yeah. So I can't run. I think I cannot run for emergency. Oh, yeah. uh. Even though my old ex colleague was saying, "Eh, come back lah, join us." I said, "Cannot lah. I cannot run. Never mind. You just help us in our uh, 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 pharmacy, mm. uh, or help us in our uh, cashier." Mm. Uh, so I cannot. I'm the running tap. I cannot just stand down there and look at your run like <laughs> mad and I just collect money or mm. dispense medicine. Uh, no, I won't enjoy that. Mm. You see? So, uh, it's okay. La. Might as well give up everything. And yeah, find since another I cannot do, Yeah, since I cannot do and cannot run emergen for emergency, yeah. so might as well, okay, go all into my passion. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. I like it. Yeah. That's good. So one thing to another mm. still led you back towards your passion. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Freelance Creative Exchange. 
And if you have enjoyed this episode, please click on the subscribe button below or click the bell so that you have uh, notifications of when we have a next episode up. And join our Creative Cyber community on Facebook and Instagram. Also, you can choose to follow Beatrice on her own Facebook. We'll put the link in the comment section below. So until then, bye. Bye. <laughs>